Hello, everybody. Since the last video I made, I, I done been to the mountains, or we done been to the mountains. Man, I wish I'd have took me an antenna up there. Because there was mountains everywhere. And, see, I ain't never tried that. I heard them mountains was rough trying to get signal, but uh, I wish I would have took one. You know, if y'all remember on the last video, I told y'all I had some ideas. And this is just to let you know, this is the idea that I had. Now, I've been thinking about this for the longest. I mean, months. Long, 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 long time. And this right here is electric fence wire. I really, I really don't see why this won't do as good as copper. I got to make sure that I can solder it. But uh, I'm going to pull some out here. I got me three strands of electric fence wire, and uh, I bet you this is cheaper than that copper that I use. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in the vise, and y'all don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, like just subscribing ain't good enough. You got to hit that bell, or you might not see my videos. All right, I'm gonna. Try to get all these, well, trim it up some. Get them kind of close to even. And I got something else to show you. Uh, you know, a different kind of wire. But I'm going to start off with this one. Okay, it's a little bit aggravating, but I got it in the drill. I'm fitting to twist it, and let's see how it does. And fill up. Hey, I, just that little bit right here is warm. All right, I'm going to show you this right here. See, I might have twisted this too much. See this? Or maybe not enough. I don't know. I ain't never doing this. But that looks pretty good. And I'm cutting a little bit of the end off. And, uh, you know, your whiskers got to be 20. So, uh, I'm going to get a 20 inch piece here. You know what? I'm going to test this right here later. And it gets cool. It's still hot, real hot. But, uh, Let's take this in the house and, and uh, see will it solder. Well, let me show you uh, before before going the house. I got some. This is phone wire, and uh, I stripped a piece of it down. But I believe, yeah, you know, well, well, it was real aggravating stripping down. I just stripped down one. But I really don't think I really don't think it's strong enough. I'm sure it'll work, but but uh, it's pretty lightweight. I mean it's. You know how phone wire is. And uh, I went and got this row. I was going to uh, make one out of this. This right here is aluminum. I put a magnet to it a while ago and checked it. Uh, and and you can solder this right here, but not with regular solder. Now, I got the stuff to, I got the, uh, I got the solder and the, uh, whatever you call it, you put on there. That'll, that'll, uh, That'll solder this, but uh, I ain't go I'm just going to focus right here on this. All right, now let's go in the house. All right, I'm in the house. Remember the last video I made where I was uh, had all these up at the bar and I was cutting them? Here's, here they are. I had to leave it when I went to the mountains, and I had never got back to, to doing it, but this right here is what, what it looks like. And y'all don't get mad at me for showing the same thing twice. I get new viewers all the time. But well, here's my pieces that I made for these antennas, for the for the antenna wires. And y'all remember the boy I was talking about quit because he wasn't making enough money? He was trying to get disability. Wasn't even supposed to be working. You know, it, it takes 
take probably about an hour to put an antenna up. And most of the time when we was working, we was right here doing this, this kind of thing. Because I, I was putting, when I first started, I was really putting a bunch of them up because nobody had antennas. Uh, the ones that had them, they wasn't working no more. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, this right here is my work table. And uh, from this, from this right, from, from right, I got it marked on this board. And see, this right here is a 10 inch mark. And uh, I need to know what halfway is. And I'm going to mark that right there. Mark that right there. <laughs> How about that? And uh, I got me some four and a half inch lines marked here. And I had to do this to, I had to do this to every whisker. See, I'm, I'm almost a quarter of an inch from my line. You don't want to get right on your line. You want to give it just a little bit. You want your line to be your corner. Hey, it feels like pretty close to the same strength as that of, uh, you know, as what I use. Okay, that's four and a half. Now this is how I actually make my antennas. Uh, I got this fixed for it runs from end to end, and uh, which this ain't supposed to be in here. It's supposed to be on this side because you got whiskers going this way and whiskers coming this way too. See, all right, I'm gonna uh, line that up. If this works, y'all, I'm putting a little bit of stuff on it. If this works, I'm gonna uh, make a video of this. Uh, you know, of, of of trying it. You know, one of because need to know how it does. But man, I'm sure it'll pick up. As long as it solders, that's what's important. Okay. All right, and I'll show you this just for the heck of it. I usually put a weight right here, you know, when I got a long one across here. I moved my light. Maybe you can see a little better. All right, here we go. And um, let me tell y'all about, about this right here. I know. I, man, this, all the antennas I made, yeah, I think this is my second bottle. Man, this right here lasts forever. All right, here we go. And what I'm doing is I'm putting it on the top. I'm putting it on the top because I want it to reach around good. And then I'm going to uh, try to get it good and in between. I need my good glasses. I can tell that, that it don't solder as good as uh, that cop. I can tell that. Alright, let's let that cool. I'll pick it up and, and uh, we'll see how it does. Alright, it's still a little bit warm. Ain't not the best soldering job I ever done, but I ain't got my good glasses on. When you do this stuff, man, you have to be like where you're kind of comfortable. I'm going to do this again, y'all, but I'm going to use this this uh, Dremel right here. And uh, you can get one in bins of matic. That's what I started with. But this one right here has got its own light, own igniter. That's the reason I got it. And some of you asked me about my uh, solder. And uh, it's 2.2%. Hey, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But it's just solder. And then this right here is my flux. And, y'all, I just buy all kind of stuff. I don't have nothing particular to buy. I'm going to set this back up here. I want to try this one more time. Hey, 
Hey, y'all know we y'all know when you're watching them fishing shows, they're using a handheld trolling motor. And they could use one of them fancy ones if they wanted to. But they making they doing that for the average person. I like that. Hey, see? That right there's soldering up good. Probably all the pirate needs. And I just put the bunch on there. I can tell that right there is better this time because I put flux on my on my wire here and uh, that made the dip that that's what made the difference I'm gonna try to get this where you can see it I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not see see that right there it still ain't the prettiest in the world but it'll work and it's all the way around it too just when you're doing it if you're doing it for the first time, uh, you ain't got to worry too much if you're using that big copper wire, that number 10, like I use. But if you're doing this, try to be careful and try not to overheat it. Because you know what fire do to it. But that's pretty good right there. That's pretty good. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see y'all on the next one.